Diana Denmark here. Hooray! We are back with another one of the Fly Ladies cruising through Christmas, cruising through the holidays missions. This is going to be number six. If you missed the um, first missions, you can go and take a look at the playlist. I've got a whole Christmas uh, and holidays playlist and there'll be recipes. Um, you saw my um, marzipan cake uh, the other day. So I'll be adding to that as we go through uh, and the excitement and the run up to, to Christmas. But remember, you can use these missions and you can use the Fly Ladies Holiday Control Journal. You can use it for planning any event or any, you know, it can be Thanksgiving, uh, Ramadan, Passover, uh, a wedding, confirmation, 50th birthday party, whatever you need to plan, it's all laid out for you. So anyway, on, on moving on to today's mission, um, when you have printed out your holiday control journal, you'll have seen that there's a section here called uh, Time to Decorate, and it just gives you some ideas. Remember, this is not an exhaustive list. It's not um, something you have to do. It's up to you where you want to decorate, where you don't decorate. But today, the fly lady wants you just to sit down and think about where you're going to be decorating your house. We're not decorating the house yet. Don't get ahead of yourself. We're just thinking about it because by thinking about it now, we can plan a bit better. Now, I'm going to give you some examples because I know for a lot of you, uh, and for me included, it, it's really helpful to see things, not just hear them or read them. So I've been doing my weekly home blessing. I've just finished. Let me show you. I've got... Uh, some recycling fur going out and I've just poured the water out over the front step. I was um, mopping in the kitchen and mopping here. Uh, I'm, I'm in the um, hall right now and I know that when it comes for time to decorate, I will be moving these, you know, I've put up some uh, Halloween decorations and some autumn stuff because we had uh, small <laughs> guests at the weekend, so I had some of the Halloween things out. I will be moving those off after Halloween, and I know that I like to put up um, some artificial garlands on our hallway. So just by knowing that and writing it down in my holiday control journal, I will know that the next couple of weeks when I'm doing a weekly home blessing... Oh, hold on. Sorry, with the camera there. Ooh! Almost knocked you over. Uh, I'm going to be, you know, just doing a bit more dusting uh, on the stairs because when we actually get to the part that we decorate, it's going to be much easier. We're not going to be saying, oh, now I have to clean all those areas off. And you will see that in the uh, cleaning missions right now. Like today's one is, uh, you know, start clearing off surfaces. You've got lots of knickknacks that have been there for a long time and you maybe don't want them uh, over Halloween and Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, start putting them, you know, start putting them away because it makes it easier to clean and then easier to decorate for, you know, whatever you're decorating for. Uh, hold on, well, we'll just go somewhere else in the house and I'll show you more. Right, this is our dining room and, you know, you can write down in your holiday control journal, just add the areas where you want to decorate and what it's going to be. Now, I already have it filled out in my uh, holiday control journal because I've been using my one for years and I'll show you what's in mine in another video. But for example, uh, in our dining room, I like to have the advent candles. I'll be showing you what we do in Denmark with those. And we'll put up a bit of a holly and the we have an old fireplace there. We don't use it um, because it is a working fireplace, but it's too close to the dining table. It gives off too much heat. So nowadays I just use it a decorative place to put some candles. So I'm thinking about that and oh, I need to buy some larger candles to go in the holders. I'm going to clean off the candle holders. So it's all those things, but we're not decorating yet, but we're just thinking ahead and what we're going to do in each room. I mean, you can see here, um, for the kitchen, do you want to have a wreath uh, for your back door? Do you have a centerpiece for your kitchen table? Do you put out holiday dish towels, you know, Christmas 
uh, hand towels and dish towels, that's something I like to put out red ones, that's just me. Then, so we're not, we're not decorating yet, but just work on your holiday control journal just for a few minutes today uh, and just think about it. That's all we're doing. So you're going to take your holiday control journal, you're going to sit down with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, pumpkin uh, spiced latte, whatever it is, you know, a glass of water if you're lucky enough to be down under and enjoying the summer weather. Just take a pen and work through and, and just have an idea of it. Also, because you might think, oh, actually this year I want to buy some new holiday, uh, you know, Christmas tea towels, uh, you know, or you might even want to add them to your own gift list, you know, maybe maybe you can add that to your gift list, you know, don't, don't rem remember, you shouldn't leave yourself off the gift list, I did a video about that, don't, you know, mum, or, you know, even if you don't have kids, do not be the last person to get the gift, you know, make sure that you think of yourself too. Right, anyway, I'm off to um, get my things outside because I'm finished with my weekly home blessing. And I shall see you very soon. Diane in Denmark, have a great day and live long and prosper.